Thank you for staying. Time now for the news. And in our first story, President Okufuado is ruling out a reshuffle of his appointees, at least for now, insisting he will not play into the opposition National Democratic uh, Congress's plans to destabilize his government. The subject of a reshuffle has been high on the political front burner, with some calling on the president to inject some energy and dynamism into his administration. According to a section of Ghanaians, some of the ministers have failed to live up to expectation, while others have simply failed to make an impact and should be shown the exit. Now, in an interview on Tamale-based North Star FM, President Okufuado said he does a daily basis assessment of his ministers to determine whether they are delivering. But they, even, even if I did, <laughs> even if I did, Gaddafi, with respect, is not on your radio station. You will not reshuffle anybody here. Uh, I'm not going to reshuffle anybody here. That is a matter that I will take okay. uh, uh, in an appropriate way. And enough. But let me say it again. I okay. know that uh, people, are, people, people are making a lot of noise about this matter. Okay. But several of the people who are responsible for assisting me to steer the country out of the difficulties that we inherited okay. and out of the difficulties that have subsequently come are still in place. Okay. And many of them, for me, have done an outstanding work. Their output has been considerable. And, it, and that's what I look at. Okay. The issue about reshuffle or the performance of ministers, it isn't as if it is something that every now and then my mind comes to. Okay. It's a daily preoccupation for me. Yeah. I'm required on a daily basis to ask myself whether the output of particular ministers is up to the mark. But I yeah. am the final yeah. authority, and yeah. if, if they're not up to the mark, I'm required to act. Yeah. But if the output measures the expectations, then I don't have any strong reasons to, to, to heed the call. Okay. The, uh, the, the, the calls come from all kinds of reasons. <laughs> NDC wanting to destabilize your government yeah. is one. There are people who are also looking for jobs. <laughs> it's Especially another. since yesterday. Yeah. People have been sending me CVs to give to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, there you are. <laughs> So, they all, but I'm not. I'm not d disputing that there is a, 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 a quite a lot of attention on it. But I also think it is important for us to have a really holistic look at this matter okay. and be certain of what we what we're doing. But as I say, um, uh, it's not uh, no responsible leader, president, prime minister will announce. I intend <laughs> to reshuffle my no. If you're going to do it, you do it. If you're not going to do it, you just continue. Okay. So um, that, that's what I, I, I have to say. Okay. So I think that what the processes that the MPP went okay. in order to now have uh, a, a new national uh, exec, new national officers, okay. regional officers, constituency ex in itself tells you okay. a lot about the MPP. Okay. One, the efficiency of our structures. Okay. We had to elect polling station executives, five okay. uh, polling stations, to the over 38,000 polling stations okay. across the country. Yeah. Here, everywhere, in which we party members, in a very decent, peaceful manner, went ahead to elect these five polling station executives. Okay. We had to elect over 6,000 electoral area coordinators, coordinators okay. by the same process and again constituency um, executives. executives in the 274 276 okay. because sal is now part of of of, of the equation okay. we had to do that we then went ahead to elect the 16 regional executives okay. of the party and then finally the very very impressive show that took place uh, at uh, a uh, Stadium, a Pole Stadium that yeah. have brought the new general secretary and the new national organizer and others, the new national chairman into yeah. office. You look at this whole process; it has been well conducted. It has been peaceful. Yes, there have been isolated uh, difficulties here and there. Such a large exercise, national exercise, you cannot expect it to be a hundred percent waterproof.
proof. There will be one or two incidents. Okay. But of the overall, the image that 